Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to comment on the video where necessary and I'll happily comment back to you. Now, let's just get straight into it, man. It broke overnight that Shakur Stevenson's upcoming title defence, the first defence of his WBO featherweight title against Miguel Mariaga has now been cancelled. Yesterday, it was uh, going to be held behind closed doors. That was the latest that we got. But now, as a result of this whole coronavirus uh, pandemic, it's now been cancelled altogether. And Top Rank have also cancelled uh, Michael Conlon's show that's taking place next week. I think it's on Tuesday. That's also been cancelled. So um, a lot of decisions being made. You know, circumstances are changing literally by the hour, it seems. And over in America especially, man, uh, they've pretty much got everything on lockdown. The NBA, the MLS, you know, uh, the baseball, uh, everything. I think they're pretty much in the process of locking everything down over there. So uh, it's no surprise really, considering that this was gonna be held at uh, Madison Square Garden, I believe. It was gonna be in front of, you know, thousands of people. So um, I'm guessing that everybody made the right decision that they think felt fit, but you have to feel it for the fighters in this situation, man. Those that bought tickets, of course, feel sympathy for those as well, but the fighters who have put themselves through, you know, eight weeks of preparing physically and mentally for putting your body through hell, you know, to, to get into the ring, to entertain us. Like, let's be honest, that's what they're doing. And um, yeah, unfortunately for them, that's not gonna be the case now. And these guys are getting paid to do it. This is their job. And now with it being, you know, pushed back or canceled, like who knows what's gonna happen when it's gonna happen next. But um, we have to think of the fighters as well. So my thoughts go out to them. But of course, with this decision being made, it's obviously with the thoughts of everybody else and trying to make everyone safe. So you can understand why the decision was made. But on a bigger view now, on a worldwide view, how much is this going to implicate uh, further events? I mean, with boxing, let's just stick with that. Uh, we've got upcoming fights. We've got a big um, schedule of heavyweight fights starting from next month. Will they go ahead? Uh, we had Frank Warren come out yesterday and say that Dubois and Joyce, which is scheduled for April, that will still go ahead. But I mean, they said that this fight here with Stevenson and Mariaga was going to go ahead until last night. So by the hour, things are changing and uh, we don't really know what's going to happen, man. But listen, I'm guessing the health, obviously the health and safety of the public and, and, and those involved come first. And if that's what needs to happen, then, you know, sports come second in this situation. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how things develop. But yeah, just letting you guys know that this weekend's fight between Stevenson and Mariaga is now cancelled. Uh, Michael Conlon's bout next week is also cancelled. So let's just see what happens, man. We're just going to have to take it day by day and um, just stay safe out there. That's all I can say. But listen, thank you guys for tuning in. Feel free to comment and uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.